welcome back. So another viewer's question and we're nearly at the end of this one now so the backlog has been done. Um, so I'm Charlie if you're new to the channel uh, and in this segment we're going through some viewer's questions very specifically uh, answering them while I'm away um, and then pick it back up in the, in the new year uh, when everything will get back on track and hopefully take the channel on new directions etc etc. Today's video we're going to be discussing uh, another question from Tony. I will place it on the screen if it will fit on the screen. But Tony asks, uh, Charlie I have another question. It may be sort of controversial but I'm going to ask it anyway. Should mediums be teaching other mediums uh, and be qualified to teach them and run courses? Uh, there is more to the question but um, we'll, we'll do it on that. It are teachers teachers uh, and that should be uh, long enough for a video uh, to, to put out there. So I can only always go off of my own experience so it'll always be of my opinion or my perspective the angle that I'm coming at. I'm not saying I'm right um, I'm just saying how I see it and how I've experienced it so on and so forth. You, you get the gist there. Uh, and very early on in my um, own development, I was going to circle. Um, and during uh, the circle period of time for me, um, I wasn't being pushed or pulled in a way that I felt was being constructive or helping to develop my mediumship uh, skill set any better. Um, so I, I decided that I was going to just hold a small group uh, uh, of people around my home or hire a room, whatever it will be. One started at home and then I went on to hire a room. Uh, and in, in amongst that, um, I, I was deemed the teacher, you know, invite them round, we'll do it, I'll make them tea or whatever. Uh, and slowly but surely I started to acquire uh, lesson plans and uh, how to structure the classroom. So that, that was part of it, you know. Uh, and learning that through my circle days, shall we say. Um, was I a teacher at that point? I don't think I was. I think I was still very much learning mediumship, um, uh, but I was learning the structure of a class uh, and all the, all the stuff that goes with that. But I wouldn't say I was a teacher. Then as time sort of progresses on, I started to get involved in courses and, you know, maybe stay at the course. That's what I deem a residential for sort of four days, five days, seven days, whatever the course length was. Uh, and you will be um, encapsulated in an environment that is kind of manufactured for, for the, the task in hand. So learning mediumship, maybe it's platform work, maybe it's one-to-one, -one, maybe it's just mechanics, or maybe it's trance, whatever it'll be. And in that uh, uh, capsule of manufactured energy, you know, we're all there for the same reason, and we're all trying to help each other, and we're all trying to understand ourselves a little bit more. We're, we're protected almost from the outside world. And that is why you'll find that your mediumship will be better on a residential course uh, than it is at Circle because of this energy that you're in for a four, five, seven day period. Now what happens, uh, uh, let me rewind the clock a little bit. So as my uh, Circle days were sort of getting better and better um, and my, my lessons were sort of being inspired now and and I would know what way to take the lesson and what you know my people skills were getting better um, and this doesn't happen overnight this is over like long periods of time um, I would specifically be inspired by a lesson uh, that would like really dial in one area of mediumship so I would present that to the class and the class would go away and practice and the majority of the time they would have outstanding results they didn't know they could do this and here we go which makes sense now uh, in hindsight um, that I'm being inspired and of course the spirit world are, are, are gonna try and give me in the best way possible uh, and now we're having wonderful results from that lesson so that makes sense to me but in my classroom, I had people that wanted to be the medium that I was or they wanted to be the teacher that I was uh, and they would come along for a couple of uh, circles or um, uh, maybe a term, maybe a, a residential, whatever it will be. 
uh, and they will write down that lesson plan, they will take that lesson plan, they will copy that lesson plan, which I've got no problems with, absolutely none. Spirit World gave it to me and I'm offering it to the class, got no problems with that. And then they would go away and they would start their own circle or they would run their own workshops and use this lesson um, uh, in their own classroom. And, and again, no problem with that. The problem I had with it was that they don't know why I did the lesson. They don't know what I was trying to achieve. They don't know what the outcome was. They didn't, they didn't have that bit of that lesson. And so it would maybe fall flat on its face or they wouldn't be able to demonstrate. As a teacher, a lot of the time in my own classrooms, uh, even on Zoom, I've had um, uh, students ask me uh, when I've offered out a uh, lesson, um, the student has said, I, I still don't understand, can you show me? Then I go and show them. I do, I've done that throughout my classroom, my cl uh, circles, on my residentials. Uh, I demonstrate uh, what it is that I'm trying to teach. Now, I, I, let's, let's take a different angle here also. Um, I know some good mediums out there, you know, they've, they've, they've really done the legwork and they've been around for years and they're good on the stage, their showmanship is brilliant, but uh, I've booked a course with some of these people or a workshop um, and they're not, they're not teachers, you know, they're good demonstrators, they're, they're good at handling an audience, but when it comes to a classroom, um, it's almost like they don't know what they're doing or they didn't know how to handle people. Um, and yet the price tag that went with that was was not right. You know, it's um, maybe they thought uh, it was gonna, you know, they're, they're famous and so that warrants this, this price tag. So I absolutely understand what, um, what where Tony's coming from. Are the teachers teachers in the world? Um, and uh, right at the bottom of the question, which I haven't read out, is that it, should there be a, a minimum time um, before you're allowed to teach? Um, and my answer would be yes and no. I'm kind of on the fence with that, you know. It, and a good teacher will be able to demonstrate what it is that they're asking you to do. A good teacher will understand the mechanics of the room, the mechanics of the energy of that room, uh, where there may be a problem. They will know when to limit their classes down to a certain number. Um, my classes are always limited to what I feel I can handle uh, and do. And that doesn't help on the money side of things. Of course it makes sense to have 45 people in a class uh, at, at said price. Um, or even more than that, 100 people, 150 people. It makes sense monetary wise. But, you know, if you shut one down to sort of 14, um, that's a big hit. And so the, the, the money's not just covering the overheads or what, what you have already spent out uh, in your own development, you know. So um, maybe uh, the, the money side is coming into the teaching, uh, but I think it's more in the big events, the ticket events, you know, the, the theatres, so on and so forth. But again, just my opinion. As for the teaching side of things, you know, um, it is it can be controversial. Tony has suggested that it may be controversial, and I believe it will be. I think it, it, I will receive a little bit of uh, stick for it. Um, but what teachers are doing um, today, uh, including myself, uh, is whatever we are restricted with in our mind, we are placing upon a student uh, section. So if I have 45 students and I think that there is a uh, uh, there's something wrong in the chakra system uh, and mediumship can't be developed properly if we've got this chakra problem then there are 45 people that I have just educated in a way that this is going to be a problem. The same way if uh, a medium um, presents to a classroom that you are chosen, you are generic, uh, genetically um, uh, being handpicked by God uh, to do this work, uh, to speak for the spirit world, then those 45 peop people in the room now, um, there will be an element of I am chosen, maybe problems with ego, etc, etc. Uh, but it was only presented by that of the teacher. So I think it's very difficult to sit on the fence. Um, I think it's very difficult to uh, uh, demonstrate it in a simplistic way. 
uh, I think it's very difficult to remove any kind of pedestal um, when the students are placing you on pedestals and they see what you're, uh, what you're capable of and what you can do and they admire it and they want that one day. It's very hard to then uh, dismiss that completely and keep it very uh, black or white, which is something that I very much try and do. If I can do it, you can do it. Um, and at the limitless possibilities of the spirit world, the intelligence of the spirit world, uh, the oneness of the spirit world uh, eliminates um, chakra problems or you have been generic, uh, genetically chosen. Um, it removes all of this uh, and makes it very normal. And so uh, I think teachers out there won't like what I'm saying um, because I'm making it very normal and accessible to all. Do I want everyone to sort of go into a, a, a classroom and start teaching? Absolutely not. I think it requires a level of experience. Is that down to time? I'm not so sure. Um, you, you could be um, you could be practicing one mechanic and trying to do one thing for 50 years. Um, and still not achieve it and and because of that um, does that make you not qualified uh, and so it's and another medium sort of try that same mechanic and deal with it in two days it doesn't make one better than the other it's the restrictions of the mind I think I think the skills of a teacher uh, within a classroom are going to be that of the people skills um, understanding that everyone will um, react differently. Uh, some need pep talks, some need um, uh, leveling off, um, some run away with imagination, some you can't even get talking. It's the people skill aspects of that to get the best out of someone with the lesson that you are presenting. And, and for me, I don't think a blanket lesson can work. Um, you can have the the fundamentals of a lesson placed out there. This is what we're going to do and this is how we're going to achieve it. Um, and here are the mechanics for this blanket lesson. However, that part of the room, uh, I've sat you over there because you, that lot don't express very freely. We need to give you an, a, an additional bit there to sort of get you up and going. This part of the room, you're very free at doing this, so don't run away with yourself. Don't don't let imagination take over. So people need to be handled differently um, in every aspect. I also want to cover a bit there that uh, uh, Tony um, put in about uh, the monetary value of the of the teaching. Um, and the, but the, you do have a little bit of a problem. I see it like doing the readings. You know, you want to start doing readings and you want to go out into the public and uh, and you don't want to charge. You don't want to. You know, I'm, I'm practicing. I want to learn and I want to do this. That's that's fine. Then you may charge ten dollars. Then it may go to twenty dollars. But then you, you've been doing that for say a year or two years, uh, and now you're up there with what is considered a high caliber. Uh, and the high caliber in New York City is three hundred and fifty dollars. Um, and if you go in at fifty dollars, you won't get the booking because the, the 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 perception from the public out there is well, the three hundred and fifty dollar one must be better because they're three hundred and fifty dollars, and you're only fifty dollars. Therefore, you can't be any good. Now, that that's a very you know dramatic example there. But that's exactly the same as the teaching. You know, if you're running a course and there is one course available for seven hundred dollars, or let's say a thousand dollars, let's say a thousand, uh, and I offer the same course uh, or the same blanket as such, uh, and I offer it for four hundred dollars, uh, my one must be worse because it's six hundred dollars cheaper. So it, it goes in like bands and you have to sort of follow the crowd with the band, which is unfortunate. Um, and, and some people will see that as fortunate because they'll get away with charging $1,000 for nicking a lesson plan. Um, so I think very quickly, once you've got rid of the, the nonsense that's out there, you know, maybe it's rituals, maybe it's I, that, that doesn't sit right with me, why would the spirit world do that? Once you've got rid of all of that in your head, I think you resonate towards a teacher or a style. 
um, and some people will like to uh, have hard hitting teaching. Some people will want that you were amazing today uh, from the teacher. Well done you. Uh, I hope you join me on my next course. Um, and so you will resonate with what seems right to you. You know, you've gone and watched them demonstrate and they've had a tough ride or they've had a flyer, an absolute flyer, but how they handle their mediumship was very good. They're very good at the people skills and they're very good with their time and they're trying to help you. That that will warrant um, maybe the, the price tag that goes with that. There'll be other people like myself that I've gone and watched where you think they're a very good demonstrator, uh, but they didn't handle um, critique. They didn't handle the, the audience. They didn't handle the mechanics or the classroom very well. And why, why have I been suckered into this thousand um, dollar uh, course so you will find that we all make our mistakes don't we all of us um, and, and it was a large chunk uh, of the reasoning behind me starting the channel I wanted to stop people going down that that avenue of throwing thousands and thousands of dollars or pounds at something to realize later on what a mistake it was um, and obviously uh, I have my, my followers for that and I have my haters for that. Um, and so it is what it is. So do I think they, uh, you know, I would like to, who who judges the qualification if there's a qualification? Um, you know, who, who deems someone a teacher? I think... I think it's going to be one of those things. If you if you're improving under the wing of someone because they are giving you good lesson plans, they can see where you are struggling and what you are doing. Does it matter that they've been doing it five years or fifty years? Does that matter? Um, I don't think it does. Um, is it accessible? Maybe you know. Is it ten dollars or five hundred dollars? Maybe a bit of an issue because there may be financial difficulty there. Um, and again. Uh, for me, I think there will be, um, I've gave places away. Uh, I offer uh, uh, very simple payment plans if there's an issue there. And um, I, there's usually uh, a, a space on every course or every class where I've, I've said, let's give that to that person. They need help right now and uh, uh, let's do that. Um, and, and so the, I don't know if the others are doing that. I, I have no idea. I know the school, uh, Ersham Star, have done that. They have a student fund uh, where that happens quite a lot as well. But I haven't seen that anywhere else. So, um, you know, it's what resonates with you. So I, I, not only you, Tony. I mean, um, there will be lots of people on the channel um, that are on the channel because they are fed up with... Uh, watching one lesson from one tutor and then going off and seeing another tutor use that same lesson um, uh, uh, but don't know why they're using it. There's so many, so many scenarios that we could cover there um, and I'm not sure I can deal with the inbox by calling those people out. Um, but it is what it is, isn't it? So I, I think let your intuition guide you you know this this lady this man seems to know what they're talking about it seems to work for me there is no contradiction in their philosophy and they handle the platform or those readings and that classroom rather well i will stay under the wing of this one for a little while um and and then just let it move on that's what people talk about when you outgrow somewhere um so it is, it's, I feel like I haven't answered you fully there, Tony, but there's um, there's so many variables and so much controversy, controversy uh, entwined in this one that um, I will be in trouble. Even for this, I'll be in trouble and I'll get my haters hating. Um, so it's, it's one of those, I'm afraid. Um, I feel your pain, I feel your struggle, um, I, I feel your frustration. Um, but once you recognise it, you can't take it away, can you? So um, don't go back, don't support it, don't don't whatever, um, and and find your, one that resonates the most with you. Uh, that's a very black and white approach. I appreciate, but uh, it'll save all the save all the nonsense in the long run. So I'm going to wrap this one up here. Um, I know it's a long video. I couldn't keep it short. It's quite a uh, in-depth subjects 
like the video if you liked it and obviously to the regular haters give it your thumbs down uh, get in the comments because that obviously helps the channel because any form of any form of engagement is engagement and YouTube loves that subscribe if you aren't subscribed already and click that little notification bell to be notified of my next video so until next time look after yourself and I'll see you then